everybody, it's Nate with another Backcountry Beer Review. Today, we hike to Window Rock, which is about halfway between Abiquiu, New Mexico and Española, New Mexico. And as you can see, it's a beautiful natural arch with views that look over the Southern Rocky Mountains. Today, I'm drinking a beer from Abbey Brewing Company. That's Abbey is in Monastery, and it's called the Monk's Triple Ale. Um, normally, I like to read whatever text the brewery decides to share with us on the can or bottle, but this bottle is actually fairly scant of any text. It just has their motto, which is made with care and prayer. I'll share a little bit about the history of this brewery. It is actually very close by, the monastery anyway. It's the uh, Monastery of Christ in the Desert. It's a Benedictine monastery. It's near Abiquiu, New Mexico, in the Chama River Canyon, about 20 miles that way. They opened up in 2005, and they were the first monastery-operated brewery in the United States since Prohibition. Now, I will say that if you peruse their website, I think that, this is just my theory, I think that they're being purposely opaque because I know from actually having visited the monastery and talking to monks there that the monastery no longer owns the brewery and I do not think that the monks do much brewing at all. From my understanding, they have licensed out their image to the brewery, which uh, most of the brewing actually is done in uh, Moriarty, New Mexico by Sierra Blanca Brewing. And the connection to the monks, other than the image on the bottle, seems to be rather nebulous. But nevertheless, I like pretty much every beer that I've tried from them. All right, it's time for a sip, everyone. Okay. So I'll start off by saying that I'm not actually a big fan of very yeasty beers. I generally don't drink like Belgian doubles or Belgian triples. I generally don't drink Hefeweizens, um, even like Wits and wheat beers, sort of not huge fans of them. Uh, I do like Saison's though, so I'm not totally turned off to Belgian beer or yeasty beer. But I'd say this is a little out of my comfort zone. That was kind of why I picked it. I really like the, the Monk's Ale. I really like the Dark Ale. And this, I felt like this was different, something I wasn't as familiar with as um, on my previous videos. So I will say, the initial flavor hits you, and it definitely you get the yeastiness. And I would say it definitely presents itself as like an underripe peach. But then as it kind of flows over your palate and rounds out, it, it more gravitates towards what I would say is like a ripe apricot, uh, maybe a hint of raspberry, and kind of like the common spiciness I get with these type of yeast forward beers, which I typically describe as like coriander meets white pepper, just this kind of uh, like sharp spice that I, it doesn't really, you don't really have much of a way to explain it beyond comparing it to other things or saying it's yeasty. Um, you know, one of the reasons why I don't typically buy Belgian doubles or Belgian triples is that they tend to be very high in alcohol. This is 9.2%. And unlike something like maybe an Imperial Stout or, or like a, a double IPA, uh, there's not much to mask like the alcoholic flavor. And I would say that this is not too bad as far as that goes. You definitely do get that kind of like heavy alcohol punch, but um, definitely I've had other Belgian triple type beers that, that were uh, more potent than this. Um, so yeah. I would definitely say if you're, especially if you're into this style of beer of like Belgian triples, Belgian beers in general, yeast forward beers, I would definitely recommend picking this up. Maybe you don't have too many in one sitting though. Cheers guys. Have a backcountry beer for me. Just wanted to do a quick shout out to a hiking blog that I follow. It's how I got the idea for this hike. It's nmtrails.com. The author does a lot of great trips and great write-ups for those trips for anything from multi-day backpacking trips to uh, pretty basic day hikes. So I'll include a link below. Definitely check that page out.